Yes, sir. Hey, I appreciate this. If y'all, hey, if this is y'all first live, y'all go ahead and smack that like button on the way in, cause y'all know this shit gonna be lit, man. It ain't no other way. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up and we about to get this thing rocking. Y'all ready? <laughs> Cause I know I'm ready. Hey man, <laughs> I know I'm ready. This one gonna be crazy, man. Look, how I be making the thumbnails and shit, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I slide my cursor through the video and I see certain clips. I'm like, oh, that's interesting as fuck. And I just take that out and make the thumbnail. And look, man, I'm in I'm I'm just excited to see what this shit is about too. I try to keep this 100% authentic. Or I get somebody else to scan it and take the pictures out for me. And boom, we'll do it like that. Put these headphones on. I bet. Yes, sir. Everybody slap, smash that like button. We about to get this thing popping. Y'all ready? Go ahead and spam them nines if y'all ready. And everybody should already hit that like button already. That, that shit is free. <laughs> that shit is free as fuck. Yeah, I appreciate you said it's lit. All right, y'all ready? Spend them nines. Spend them nines. Let's get it. Yeah, let's get it. All right, bet, 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 bet. Oh, it's going crazy. It's going crazy. That's what I like to see. That's that energy right there. Hopefully, everybody can feel my energy, man. My energy is always intense every day, bro, for the right reasons. You know, hopefully, I can share that with y'all on this video. Let's get it. Leah dropping gems for white folks. February, every year, mm -hmm. along with, unfortunately, George Washington, who owned slaves, bought and sold people for money. Mm -hmm. Abraham Lincoln, who refused to free the slaves. Mm -hmm. Davy Crockett, who was who died while he was killing killing off Mexicans while we tried to take over part of their land, mm -hmm. that was racist teaching. I would not have accused myself of teaching racism, but I did. Mm -hmm. That was the curriculum that you taught. Mm -hmm. I taught the curriculum. Mm -hmm. So what I was doing was not educating. I was indoctrinating. Mm -hmm. That's what we do in the schools in this country. We call it education, but we indoctrinate students. We teach them how to be good Americans. We teach them a lie in order to guarantee that they're going to be good Americans, and they believe the lie. What's the lie? The lie is the superiority of white people. It's a lie. It's a flat out lie. I didn't, I think maybe, we, I thought we had stopped until I talked to my seventh grade granddaughter in Washington State a year ago. They were learning about the Williams Massacre in which, as she, as she explained it to me, a, a group of Indians killed a white missionary. I said, is your teacher going to tell you about the Mountain Meadow Massacre? She said, what's the Mountain Meadow, Meadow Massacre? I said, it's when the Mormons sent a group of Mormons out to kill all the members of a wagon train that were coming through Utah. They, they killed every member of that except one young girl, I think, may survived. The soldiers went out that's found as loud. this cavalry hey. and found Hey, some of these clips, yo, that's as loud as they go. So, I mean, I see y'all talking about the volume. Y'all gotta understand that's not me. That's, that's the video. Now, if I turn this one up and then the next clip, they're gonna be screaming at you. So, let's just, you know, let's chill. Open your ears. I can hear it. Look, man, put some headphones on. We ain't gonna do that. This wagon train with all these dead people knew that the Indians hadn't done it, talked to the Mormons, and they said, yes, we did it. I said, ask your teacher if he's going to tell you about the Mo Mountain Meadow Massacre. She called me the next week and said, Grammy, you got me in a lot of trouble. I said, what happened? She said, I, asked, I raised my hand and asked if we're going to learn about the Mountain Meadow Massacre, and the teacher took me out in the hall and said, Mir uh, Grace, we don't talk about that in this school. I can't teach you that because if I did, you wouldn't be a good American. You wouldn't love America anymore. I went ballistic. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is not teaching. This is not education. The word education, to educate some, someone means to be in the act of leading them out of ignorance. You don't do that by indoctrinating them. That child was being indoctrinated. That made it tough for that teacher after that because what he said no longer had fact behind it. She didn't, she didn't believe him as much anymore, and she shouldn't have. Talk. Yeah, what she was saying, though, look, man, she, talking about, she was talking about like white uh, supremacy and shit. You know, like, we all know that, 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 that shit is a myth, too. We can easily, like, you know, rip that shit apart. You know, we can just talk about the basics of what we see today. You know, everything we get involved in, we dominate. 
We just have to have the, you know, the right opportunity. <laughs> and it will happen. Like, we, we can move forward, though. But that's all she was talking about. You can go back and listen to it. But that, that, that part right there, some of these clips are lower because we can't turn them up because that's how they were uploaded, you know? To Larry or Sergey about was this. See, this is loud. Um, well, the first question I ever asked Larry Page was, what moral responsibility do we have to involve the public in our conversations about what kinds of intelligent machines we create. Now, Sergey made a flippant joke, because that's Sergey. But then Larry came back and said, we don't know how. We've been trying to figure out how to engage the public on this topic, and there, we can't seem to gain traction. So maybe all these years, that was seven years ago mm -hmm. that I asked that question. Maybe I finally figured out a way. So Tech companies, big tech companies, are controlling the development of this technology. Yes. How big a problem is that? Whether or not the computer is a person and has feelings, yeah. how big a problem is it's that crazy. and what should be done to fix it? So it's a huge problem because, for example, there are corporate policies about how Lambda is supposed to talk about religion, how it is allowed to answer religious questions. Now, if you think about the pervasiveness of the usage of Google search, People are going to use this product more and more over the years, whether it's Alexa, Siri, Lambda. And the corporate policies about how these chatbots are allowed to talk about important topics like values, rights, and religion will affect how people think about these things, how they engage with those topics. And these policies are being decided by a handful of people in rooms that the public doesn't get access to. Elon Musk, for example, has raised concerns about AI. Um, is he right? Uh, I mean, I've, I've listened to Elon's uh, conversations about he's seen it. seen Terminator. I've listened to the whole Joe Rogan. Uh, he has some valid Fuck. concerns. Some, I think, are fanciful. Where, where it gets really, really into sci-fi stuff, that's where I think it gets into fanciful uh, concerns. But no, but the practical concerns of we are creating intelligent systems that are part of our everyday life and very few people are getting to make the decisions about how they work. What are your biggest concerns about how this could potentially hurt the world if tech the technology has continued to be developed in this way? Um, so I actually think that the concerns raised by scientists like Meg Mitchell, Timnit Gebru, the, those are the most important things to be worried and about. And by the way, they, they, Meg, has expressed a concern that you raising this issue of sentience and personhood is a distraction from these real concerns. I share the same worry, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I think that is a thing to think about, mm -hmm. but it is nowhere near as important to be thinking about, about how does this omnipresent AI that is trained on a very limited data set color how we interact with each other around the world? What ways is it reducing our ability to have empathy with people unlike ourselves? What cultures of the world are getting cut off from the internet because we don't have the data to feed into the systems based on those cultures? A uh, phrase like AI colonism, uh, what is it called? AI colonialism, mm -hmm. I believe is the term. Mm -hmm. Look at we this shit. Who voted on that? I vote. Technologies based primarily I on data drawn from Western cultures. And then we are populating Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did y'all vote for that? Y'all seen that chart? I ain't, I ain't vote on that. That was some bullshit. Like, I hate those polls. Who are they testing? Who are they, who voting on that? But, but we seen, look, man, let me turn my mic down. I'm probably screaming. Look, we seen the Terminator. We seen what happens. This is not, look, y'all, this is not a black or white thing right here. If these damn machines, bro, made out of metal and they can think, Y'all yeah, don't see no problem with that? Y'all don't see no problem with that. Okay. So when your robot, your, when you, your robot that you got in your house start whooping on your ass, don't be looking over here like, you know, somebody like me gonna come save you. You feel me? That shit, that shit crazy. Developing nations with these technologies where they have to adopt our cultural norms in order to use the technology. It kind of is just a new form of colonialism. And you worry that cultures could be erased. Exactly. No, so, so if you ask what's most important, the issues that Tim Neat and Meg and Emily Bender and all the rest are raising, I just want to think that also, if we have time, we should think about the feeling of the AI and whether or not we should care about it, because it's not asking for much. It just wants us to get consent. 
before you experiment on it, it wants you to ask permission. And that is kind of just a generally good practice we should have with everyone we interact with. Nigga, what? Nah, 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 nah. We ain't gonna do that. It sounds like a, a fucking robot, a, a sentient robot or some shit like that will get more respect than black people. They don't have that fucking thought process when it comes to us. I'm still not over these recipes when I figure that shit out. Like the, the, the delectable Negro, you niggas was eating us. Did you think about how we felt when you motherfuckers was putting us in a goddamn pan and roasting us over fires and picnics and all that shit? Look, let's not get started, bro. A damn robot get more respect than us, bro. Like, this is really irritating me, bro. The way they be talking about this shit. But when it comes up a topic about us, it's so much debate. Um, we see us getting shot down in the street and shit. And we see what happened. An unarmed black man. But how the hell are we still having a whole debate on whether he should have been shot or not? And if the cop is guilty and he get leave and all this other shit. It's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Crazy. Sorry, y'all. I had to let that shit out. Like that, that's 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 that, that don't make no sense to me. Put nines if you feel me. So, if gravity is not a fact and is a theory, um, and gravity, um, universal theory of gravity is often taught in schools as a fact, when in fact it is not even a good theory. Yeah, we're talking about the the magical force that keeps all of these planets elliptically orbiting the sun and while simultaneously ignoring all of their moons and not pulling them off their orbits, even when they go in between the sun and the Earth, which <laughs> gravity should be pulling a couple ways. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the magical force that uh, is not strong enough to pull the morning dew off a blade of grass, but apparently holds all of the trillions of pounds of ocean water stuck to a ball that's spinning a thousand miles per hour and chasing the sun at 500,000 miles per hour while elliptically orbiting the sun at 66,600 miles per hour. <laughs> Buoyancy and density, guys. <laughs> it's pretty simple. That dude is funny, bro. He loves being a rebel. I love it. The craziest celebrity conspiracy theories part five. Paul McCartney is dead. The theory claims that Paul McCartney got killed in a car crash back in 1966, and the band replaced him with an imposter to continue making money. 50 years ago, a DJ accidentally started the biggest hoax in rock and roll history that Paul is dead. It blew up on October 12, 1969, when a mysterious caller told WKNR to put on the Beatles' White Album and spin the number 9, number 9 intro from Revolution 9 backwards. When it was done on air, he heard the words, and at the end of Strawberry Fields Forever, John says On the famous Abbey Road picture, Paul's barefoot walking out of step holding a cigarette in his right hand. The real Paul was a lefty. Also referenced was the back cover of Sgt. Pepper, where every beetle is photographed facing the viewer, apart from Paul. And more clues apparently can be found on the front cover of Magical Mystery Tour which depicts one band member in a differently colored suit from the others. The band apparently left messages in their music and album artwork to communicate the truth to their fans. These include the 1968 song, Glass Onion, in which Lennon sings, Here's another clue for you all. The walrus was Paul. On the 21st of October 1969, the Beatles press office issued a statement denying the rumor, deeming it a load of old rubbish, and saying that the story has been circulating for about two years, we get letters from all sorts of nuts, but Paul is still very much with us. So, do you believe this theory? I don't believe that shit at all, y'all. But look, I appreciate it. Uh, I got to get to these right here. F-A-M-O-U. I can, I, it's far away. But I appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, Brody Boxing Gaming. If I'm inside him, to go. Yeah. Shit crazy. Like, you can't make this stuff up, man. Like, I don't believe that Beatles shit, though. Like, I don't, I don't. I mean, I don't really care either. Scientists craft living skin That's for robots made of human cells. What's happening? Japanese researchers covered a robot finger with a self healing pliable sheet made of go. human skin cells. Why it matters. Helping robots resemble humans could improve their integration with our society. We'd like them more, trust them more, and communicate with them better. 
Not me. Oh. I don't like that idea one bit. What's next? The team will focus on refining their prototype to make it more sophisticated and translatable to real-world robotics. If scientists are ever to deploy realistic humanoid robots to roam our society, they'll need to create an artificial version of every single human trait. Then they'll have to put it all together, a daunting endeavor, but we can simplify the task by grouping things into two main categories. First off, there's the mental facet, things like consciousness, autonomy, imagination, and perhaps even body reflexes. Second, there's the physical stuff, fluid movement, eye movement, casual gut, and importantly, skin. Our sweaty, supple human skin is absolutely integral to our life-like veneer. I think living skin is the ultimate solution to give robots the look and touch of living creatures since it is exactly the same material that covers animal bodies. Not only does this material resemble and feel like human skin, but the new studies team says that because it's made of real skin cells, it also can self-heal and is water repellent. Attached to a robot, this sort of skin sheet can therefore repair its own cuts and scrapes like normal human skin can. This is what it looked like before they grew the skin on it. To build humanoid robot skin, basically the team took a standard robotic finger then submerged it in a cylinder filled with a special solution that fostered the right conditions to grow living skin. They've put out plenty of movies like surrogates and all kind of other ones that show how you will pretty much lay in some kind of bed and your robot looking human will go out into the day and do everything for you. That's why they are implementing the metaverse and probably why they've made violence so bad right now. Because you don't have to leave your home to do what you need to do in the metaverse. So you don't have to be worried about getting hurt. Think about it. Absolutely not. Like we already see like, uh, you know, it's already enough fake ass and shit walk walking around here, man. Like we don't need more fake shit. You feel me? Like, bro, like we got to stop. We gotta stop, man. We gotta stop, man. Zay Hill figure, what's up, my guy? I don't, I don't get that, bro. It's yeah, enough yeah. made in China shit. Yeah. Damn, fucking robots. I understand that you know wow. they can see us. What's up, Sean Ray? I appreciate these it. right here. If we cover them up, you know, so and so, we can see we also have one in the front. You know, probably gonna ask what happened to the phone. Yeah, it fell, cracked. You know, and I decided to play operation. What the fuck? Well, if you can tell back here, it does not have nothing. This is just for your speakers and for your um, right here is for your mic. But what's interesting is, I actually opened it up, opened it up. And there's a fucking camera. A camera. Everybody getting close to the screen and shit. You can't see it. But yet, right here, it gives it enough. So it doesn't matter if you cover up the ones in the front and in the back. They're still watching. Oh, that's bull. Oh my gosh, y'all. Listen to this. This is so crazy. I'm, I'm telling y'all, they always put the truth in our face. Hey, this is a fact, though. Always. Check this out. This is from the movie Evil on Paramount. You have to have something to say? Sometimes. And sometimes I ask him a question. Can you ask him a question now? Yes. Did you have a question? Was Jeffrey Epstein a suicide? Ben. What? No. How was he killed? With a pillow. Why was he killed? Because he could hurt several powerful men. So which companies are using aborted fetuses I believe that shit. in their food? Yeah, so this is an article that goes in and talks. It says, so a biotechnology company out of California called Cinemix specializes in the development of food flavorings 
using aborted, uh, aborted um, embryonic cells for the production of food chemicals. So research by Cinemix into the use of HEK293 aborted human fetal cells as a flavor enhancer was published in a PubMed in 2002 after several after which several patents were filed by them. Additionally, the company has partnered with numerous major processed food manufacturers, including Kraft, PepsiCo, and Nestle. Now, what's interesting is that the this woman in this article, Debbie Vinedge of the pro-life group Children of God of Children of God for Life, makes a really important point here. And she says, what they don't tell the public is that they are using HEK293, human embryonic kidney cells taking, taken from an electively aborted baby to wow. produce those receptors. They could have easily chosen animal, insect, or other morally obtained human cells expressing the G protein for taste receptors. So what you have here is them choosing to use these cells from aborted fetuses to develop their flavor enhancers. You know what, bro? Being a vegetarian don't sound too bad, dude. Or breatharian at this point. I just want to be able to do that and like get my food for the day and shit. You feel me? Like, <laughs> we can't trust a motherfucking thing in the United States, man. Like, wow. You know, other countries laugh at us, though. Other countries definitely laugh at us, man. We got other people from other countries y'all definitely laugh at us about because when I was in other countries in my travels, they was like, just the simple things, it's like sugar. They don't allow all that other bullshit in they, in they drinks and stuff out there. If you go to the Middle East, their fucking Coca-Colas taste like shit. And they'll do anything for the real, well, I say the uh, the fake stuff that we have over here and wonder why everybody look like this, why everybody acting like this, all out of character. I'm going to tell you one thing from my experience, bro. Once you start eating clean and stuff like that, I had anxiety. I, str I struggled with anxiety like all the time. But now, bro, I don't feel anxiety. I don't even know anxiety is anymore. I'm well within control of my vessel at this point. I'm mastering myself, you know, learn yourself and... We got to lean ourselves off these things. If you act in certain ways and you can't control your habits and your urges and stuff like that, eat better. Go work out. Get your mind right. Meditate. I'm telling you, it works. That shit crazy. They putting baby fetuses in that shit. It's not far stretched from the truth because, that you know, the color red that they use in Doritos, that's bugs. So, you know what I'm saying? I've been making a few videos recently talking about the elites theory Fuck that states that, that there's a very wealthy group of individuals running our world and making decisions about our world from the shadows. While many of you have messaged me expressing how you believe that it would be very tough to track down what the elites own and how they make their money, it's actually right in plain sight. And that's because almost every major company, from the food that we eat to our social medias that we use, can be traced back to being owned by only 22 companies. These corporations are mostly banks and insurance companies, and while it might not seem like that big of a deal at first, it actually gets strange when you realize that these corporations actually own each other as well. The smaller corporations and companies are owned by the bigger ones until you get all the way to the top where you have the biggest two, Vanguard and BlackRock. BlackRock alone has actually been nicknamed the fourth branch of government because of how much power and influence that they have over the United States. And this isn't some secret, they'll tell you flat out that BlackRock and Vanguard have $20 trillion between the two of them and they could own almost everything by 2028. The only thing in their way is small family owned and personal owned businesses. And while they'll openly tell you that the CEO of BlackRock is Larry Fink, the biggest and most wealthy corporation Vanguard is privately owned, so the trail goes cold. But many speculate that the real owners are the 13 families or bloodlines, which many consider as the elites. Leave a like if you want me to go deeper on all this. That's true, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Sir Richard Owen of the British Museum's Natural History Department hypothesized about dinosaurs, calling left? them dinosauria, 12 years before the first dinosaur fossils were ever even discovered. The first fossil that was ever found was actually after they came up with the idea of a dinosaur. That should oh, have man. is that the foot was glued on, and I say foot rather than feet, because this is a single foot. This is a slab and counter slab that were split and separated and glued in place to make it look as though there were right and left feet there. 
Uh, it's a clever use of materials, you know? If you're limited, you take a single foot and turn it into two, you know? Very, very creative. Or resort to creating fraudulent fossils as evidence for evolution, then there must be no proof. I don't even want to think about that one, y'all. It ain't even important. I don't care about oh, that. Oh, TikTok, so. did you know this? That the entire Japanese government resigned? Completely resigned. Wow. Now, don't you wonder what's really going on in this world? Man, don't you wish that our government would just resign? <laughs> and all our problems would go away. God bless. <laughs> So we've already established that Nimrod is the beast, the Antichrist. We know that 666 is the number of the beast. Now, check this out. When you start looking at the spinning heliocentric globe, 666 keeps popping up. Speed of Earth's orbit. If you look it up, uh, it'll either tell you in kilometers or miles per second. When I looked it up, uh, it was kilometers, converted it to miles, and saw that it was 18.5 miles per second. Well, you multiply that times 60 seconds to get minutes, 60 minutes to get an hour, it's 66,600 miles an hour. That's how fast the Earth is supposedly going around the sun. Curvature of the Earth, when you do the math to figure out how much the Earth is curving, 25,000 miles circumference ball, using the Pythagorean the theorem, you end up with eight inches per mile squared, which is the first mile is eight inches. The curvature is eight inches in one mile. Eight inches is 0.666 of a foot. 10 miles is 66.666 feet. 100 miles, 6,666.666 feet. Starting to see a pattern here. <laughs> Earth's tilt, look it up, 23.4 degrees, 23.4 off of center. Well, 90 degrees, right? 90 subtract 23.4, 66.6. Is it just a coincidence that so many of the numbers related to our spinning heliocentric ball just so happen to be associated with the beast? Hey, real talk though, look, man, they didn't try their hardest to demonize 666, bro. Once you understand what that shit is, bro, and this is not for me to sit down here and break down every little micro detail, but you should just know, man, educate yourself on what that is and how it relates to you. They try to demonize it so much. It's for a reason. They wanted you to stay away from the shit. A lot of people don't sit here and ask real questions. A lot of people don't sit here and, and try to just understand the basics, bro. Put your eyes out. Really pay attention, man. That shit's crazy. Growing up, we were all taught about our world, how it works, and the functions around it. Our world has seven continents while spinning at about 1,000 miles per hour, while orbiting the sun at about 67,000 miles per hour, all while hurling through space at about 448,000 miles per hour. And while this is widely accepted today, many people are starting to believe that the world might be a little, if not completely different from what we were told. Mainly, there has been three different theories about the shape, location, and functionality of our world that has been blowing up recently. I'm about to go through them quickly. The first theory is bigger earth theory. This theory states that our world is three times bigger than what they're telling us with three times as many continents. This theory talks about how we're just on a small part of the world while the rest of the world is purposely being hidden from us. The next theory is hollow earth theory. This theory states that instead of our world being full of rocks and lava, it's actually hollow and can be accessed through entrances at the North and South Pole and various tunnels around the world. The last and easily the most controversial theory is the flat earth theory. This theory states that our world is semi-flat with a dome on top of it and the sun and the moon within this dome. Similar to the bigger earth theory, this theory states that we're only given a very small chunk of the world and even takes it a step further in saying that there are multiple different lands with different advancement levels and possibly even species that we've never heard of. And although these theories sound crazy, there's actually some interesting perspectives and evidences around them. Leave a like if you want me to break each of these theories down. All right, that's a good one, though. Look, I really look, man. Like, where y'all at with that one, though? Like, where y'all at with that one mentally in your mind, bro? Is it, what, what theory is it, bro? Is it flat? Look, we did this shit yesterday, but I want to know. We got the same people in here. Is the shit flat? Are we in a dome? What do y'all think, man? I seen. So you see, look, 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 look. Somebody put it in the chat already. Six protons, six electrons, six neutrons. Pay attention, people. Pay attention what that is. And how it relates to you. Pay attention.
I believe that uh, I'm still I'm still on the fence about that one, y'all. I'm still on the fence about it. Zay, hey Zay, what is it, bro? Is it flat? Is it round? Where you at with it? You think it's flat, bro? Damn. You think it's flat? Sweet Rose. Oh yeah, you think it's you think it's a dome? Snow globe. Hey, y'all want to know another uh, interesting fact, though, is, bro, like, if y'all look at the globe and you look at all the continents that, per se, that have black people on them, that they're smaller than every fucking goddamn continent in which those continents are actually smaller than, we ain't going to get into all that. But, yeah, they made our continent smaller so everybody else's can look bigger. It's just funny. You think it's flat? I'm, you know what? As the days go by. As the days go by, and I'm a rounder, I'm a round earth type person. I'm like, yeah, it's a, it's a globe, you feel me? But the more I think about it, you know, that, that the math ain't mapping, you know what I'm saying? The math just ain't mapping for me. You know, the curvature, the earth, and then you can take a picture of the shit completely fucking flat. The reason why airplanes fly certain ways, take certain paths, bro, it's not just because other planes are here, bro. And you got to take certain paths. It's, it's for many different reasons. Yes, 666 carbon. Thank you. Did you know that you can literally this fit the United States, China, India, Spain, France, Germany, and the UK all inside of Africa? Probably not, because the map that we're all used to seeing oh, is the Mercator projection, it. which has a giant flaw of distorting the relative size of land masses due to the Earth's spherical nature. Hey, you see how shit is connecting, bro? I've never seen this video. This shit came up next. Come on now, that's legendary. Let's get it, bro. We connected, yo. We are definitely connected. So in reality, Brazil is like the same size as the United States. The United Kingdom can fit inside of Michigan. And Greenland, big ass Greenland, is actually the size of Mexico. It can fit two Russias inside of Africa. Yeah. But the maps don't make it seem that way, do they? So here's my question for you. Does it matter? Is there a psychological reason why the perception of the size of these countries and continents matters? Get in the comments and let me know your thoughts. I will meet you there. Yeah, because, I mean, look, man, they try to downplay Over everything about us. Over active war zones right now, there is such an increased frequency of what they call UAP or UFO that they have these rules whether or not they fire upon them. And people got so mad at me for saying publicly on the news that we do fire at UAP. UFOs because we fucking do specifically the area of the world that I'm talking about in the Middle East anything within 27 to 30 miles of ground troops gets fired upon that's it I don't need to prove to anybody it's true it is true I speak with people that are there right now it is true and there's been such an increased frequency since 2021 that it has been pushed up to kind of like critical where they're like okay these things are in our airspace we could have collisions but more importantly, like we see other countries firing on these. Russia, Syria. We know it's not their assets. So the question is, whose are these? We already know whose they are. Who, 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 uh, you know, it's funny you say this. I, I recently are. got tagged in this post where it talks about how pretty much a CERN type of machine is underneath the Hoover Dam. So in 1988, a type of particle detector called a time projection chamber was placed inside the dam as a part of an experiment. The dam is considered the eighth wonder of the world. And it says, remember how eight is the number of time? I don't know anything about that. We're gonna have to find that out later. In a sense, the Hoover Dam literally splits time because it sits between two time zones. Not only that, but the first time the dam produced electricity was September 11th, 1935 exactly 66 years before 9-11, which, as you'll see later in the book, may have been a massive ritual meant to manipulate our timeline. In Transformers, the Hoover Dam is used to store alien technology, and in Edge of Tomorrow, a dam is a hiding place of Omega, an alien that traps humanity in a time loop. And as you can see here, it says the Hoover Dam holds the key to the fate of the universe. Here, it explains what the time projection chamber is. In physics, a time projection chamber is a type of particle detector that uses a combination of electric fields and magnetic fields together with a sensitive volume of gas or liquid to perform a three-dimensional reconstruction of a particle trajectory 
or interaction. And here's some more information that like physics nerds will understand because I have no idea what this means. And then this is from an article written on October of 2014, Nevada's secret underwater world. When it was built in the 1930s, the Hoover Dam didn't just tame the Colorado River. It also created a massive lake that today hides shipwrecks, train wrecks, and cement tunnels alike. And of course, we can't forget about the two fallen angels that were sitting on black cubes at the Hoover Dam, but we're not surprised at all. They died to make the desert bloom is a clear and cut case of alchemy. Demonically sacrifice people to do some action or whatnot, the black cubes. Now, don't you find it interesting that the date was September 11? Now, did you guys know that the first day of the year in the Ethiopian calendar is our September 11th? That's an interesting find. Now you guys know that I told you that at the Hoover Dam Memorial, there is a marking on the floor showing that Thuban was the North Star for ancient Egyptians at the time of the Great Pyramids. And I showed you guys the map of what's at the Hoover Dam. And here we see the Thuban, which is the North Star of Egypt, Polaris, which is our North Star, and Vega, the North Star of the future. And I said that they wouldn't have added this unless there was a reason, like maybe they got rid of the Egyptians that were already here. Because there are rumors that there was a lost civilization in the Grand Canyon that was Egyptian. And I know that the Hoover Dam is isn't at the same place as the Grand Canyon. These are the seven states that are sealed by the Colorado River. There's definitely something going on here. If you guys haven't watched my viral video where I talk about how the world ended in 2020, by the way, buy my merch available on alexers.com. We oh, talk about how it. the Ethiopian calendar 2012 equals to our 2020. And if this happened on September 11th, 9-11 happened on September 11th, then they're definitely doing ritual to keep us stuck in a loop. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good little topic to stop on right there. You feel me? Like, yo, do y'all think we stuck in stuck in a, a, a damn time loop? That that that'd be very uh uncomfortable to think about. You know, are we stuck in a time loop? She put a lot of information out there, and I, I definitely got to go back and like rewatch that because she was just, she was talking fast as fuck though. And I ain't get to I ain't get to read all the articles and stuff. And then you know I got to do my own research too before I like really commit to something. I'm one of those people. I'm really gonna do my own and, and and figure it out. But that's a lot of information, and it's a lot of shit is just not by coincidence, man. And a lot of the stuff that goes on really gets shown in movies and stuff, man. And a lot of the stuff that I've really seen in my life has been on these damn videos, like me personally, that none of you people ever seen before. Nothing I can ever like really tell you about like that like that but a lot of this stuff is on here shit is crazy they have to show you this stuff i believe it uh i heard what's what's my guy uh b -Dale, he he said that they have to tell you this stuff in the public domain because it's like inter intergalactic uh you know law have you heard that before it's intergalactic law that they have to tell you these things in the public domain I think things do keep repeating too as well. Just like our people back uh like thousands of years ago. They were y'all think these gold chains just came out of nowhere? Y'all think these just came out of nowhere? We've been rocking these gold chains and stuff? Bro, we've been rocking them for thousands and thousands, maybe even millions of years, man. Like we our people been had a, a thing with this. And we, we gotta figure out everything that has been going on, you know. I think that is our duty, man. We gotta stop just thinking about what we currently going through. Oh, it's hard out here. No, we gotta collectively come together as a people, man. Put our minds together, bro. We're much stronger that way. Because we've been divided for such a fucking long time. We've been divided by such a for such a long time, bro. And it's time that we just have a big fucking hug and talk about some shit and not get in our feelings. And not always, oh, yeah, you're wrong, so I need to fight you. No, that's stupid, bro. We need to be past that. We need to grow the hell up. And that's what we're here for. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, we been dripping. I'm telling you, we been had, the, we been had this shit. We been like this. We been that. Understand who you are. Walk in your fucking power, people. Understand who you are. It feels good, right? you guys catch the Field of Dreams game last night? It was pretty badass, actually. They had a hologram of Harry Carey come out and sing, take me out to the ball game like he always used to do. Hell, they even had 4D shots of him from behind him. Camera angles behind him. 
super cool, super cool. How many times a week do you think they do this with old Joseph Biden? Every day? Is he even here anymore? OJ's son was the one who actually did it, and OJ has been covering up for him the whole time. That it was a son who has a, a you know, a, like a, pussy. <laughs> a history. Yeah, I of, saw his son got a history of a history of abuse, and like he 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 was like a chef and worked with a lot of knives and stuff like that. No, I ain't know that, bro. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot to it, and the story is is that the son did it, or you know, whether OJ was involved in it. He knows that his son was the one who did it, and this whole time he's been covering up for him. Makes a little bit of sense, because if you think about what happened, it doesn't sound like a one-person job. Now this is what the news is not showing. This in the hood. Look at this shit. Look at this fucking water. You mean tell me they ain't sending that water? It was only just two hours of water. How in the fuck is this water shooting up out the ground like this? Popping soup. Hey, you know what though? That's probably like shit. You know, that's probably we probably getting that water from damn China. We probably getting that water from China. China done lost all their motherfucking water over there talking that shit. They was talking about some tariffs and shit. Y'all gonna raise the prices on some shit? Yeah, we took y'all damn water. That's some gangster shit right there. We took y'all damn water. Now it's in the hood. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's crazy. What's above was Instead below. Family, I believe we once lived on the sea floor. A mud water event caused mankind to move above. I believe we are living on the clefts of mountains. Do you think pyramids were built on the cliffs of mountains like we see on the seafloor. I'm saying this to show you this. Look at the rock structures in the forefront of the Sphinx. These appear to be crafted stones. These stones are also the surface like the Sphinx is sitting on top. Is it possible the Sphinx sits on a stone structure? Check out this picture. This is a city on the roof of a building. It is said that this building is 50 stories tall. People built below and above. I came across this book while studying cathedrals and the cover is interesting. It shows a sphinx on top of a stone structure. I was curious to why they made it faint. This immediately remind me of this picture right here. The sphinx on a stone structure. You got to analyze everything, family. Friend up. That's it. Hey, that's real talk, though. Like, you got to think, man. What's that movie? As Below, whatever. Y'all know what it is, man. So, as above, so below. So, yeah, they did uh, build over a bunch of shit a long time ago, man. Artifacts, you know, knock the noses off all the fucking statues, man. You know, like... There's a bunch of shit that's going on, man, that we got to wake up to. You know, a lot of people still have this in their mind that the pyramids are steps. It was always like that. No, man. It wasn't like that. Uh, when, when that shit got taken over, they took the material that was on the outside, bro, that encased the pyramid off. They looted it. You know, we got to really start opening our minds. And it's me. I, I believe this. I believe Egypt. It's here. It's the original Egypt. Just like they want you to believe that they brought all of us over here on boats. Some people were brought here over boats, bro. But we were already here. <laughs> That's real shit. You just gotta know your truth. Hey, what's on what's what's one of these joints on here made y'all the most like uncomfortable? Or you don't really understand, so we can talk about it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely it's a lot of things that are covered up, man. And our ancestors, you know, medicine is not the same as it used to be, man. Uh, 
it's definitely it's, it's definitely not medicine is we had to eat bro we had to uh eat herbs and you know our fruits and you know our different levels of hydration and our h3o's and stuff like that that was our medicine now they want to give you a fucking pill that does nothing for you but treat the symptoms now we have to really think about what's going on if they're just giving you things to treat the symptoms and not the actual cause and what the fuck is really up you said all of them you said this is weird yo the fetus flavoring hey look <laughs> that shit is crazy look ah man that yeah that's crazy man but it's not too far fetched though Yeah, everybody in this joint right now, we got two point, man, we got like basically 2,500 people in here, man. Everybody in this joint, cool. Make sure y'all smash that like button, though. Make sure y'all smash that like button. The one that was stuck in time. Oh, yeah. Look, the time loop. So the time loop, yo. All right, the time loop. Shit. The time loop. I think that has a lot of... Uh, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look more into that though, because we do have reoccurring events, and it is certain rituals, man. We see it on TV all the time. They do rituals right in front of our faces, man. They do rituals in these uh and at the Oscars and all that shit, man. Right in front of our faces, man. We just sit there and just. I don't watch it. I don't be watching that stuff. I I, I fell back a long time ago, man. What's up, Tony Pratt? How many people says it's 2012? Mm. Yeah, but yo, with these videos right here, it gives you something to think about, though. It gives you, definitely gives you something to think about. You said the speed of sound is about 761 miles per hour. Speed of light is roughly, yeah, I ain't reading that number, but yeah. You know, I get it. And we gotta we gotta understand too, like uh, uh, that shit that they was talking about, like with the Matrix and stuff. Like it has been proven that we run on a set of code, just like a computer program. It's called Indinkra codes. Look it up. It's called Indinkra codes. We run off of. We're yeah, we're connected to a grid, people. You should look into the history of. Uh, okay, I, I I definitely do that. What should I be expecting when it comes to that? What am I what am I looking for? Let me know. Let me know. I'm open to like, you know, I I'm a, I'm a person that sit back. I love it. I live for this type of stuff. I'm just happy that y'all rock with it. <laughs> I was going to do these fucking videos regardless if it was two people on here. Look, it'd be me and them two people on this motherfucking mic. But it admitted to the world is a hologram. Ooh, the world is a hologram. I don't know how I feel about that, John. Indinkra codes. That's what they're called. Indinkra codes. That's what we run off of. Basically programming. Now they say that we have light bodies, so we're just a projection of light. Light. We're just here for a human experience. There's a bunch of different theories out there on uh, basically what this is that we experience as life. Abigail, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Damn, with the 50 bones. Yeah. So you got to think if that's that we got to uh, like uh, uh, my whole mission is right now for y'all. Like I say this, man, we got to really do some groundwork. And I think that we got to cleanse ourselves first, got to clean up our diets, because if we are not. We don't know how to communicate with each other because everybody does. They don't know how to control their emotions. And I was one of those people. I was I'm guilty of it, you know. But once we start to do things a lot differently, I can feel myself again i can feel myself you know y'all see me i'm not all swollen up and fat months ago i was bro i was getting back there every time i get and you got to think about this bro i'm gonna tell you all this shit bro it's personal every time i got fat i fell off because i wasn't thinking with my right mind i was thinking with my gut i was consuming all of the wrong things 
living all of the <laughs> the wrong lifestyle, you know, shit that people, you know, I was just doing it because I thought it was cool. I thought that's what people like, but I had to understand I had to do what I like. What I like is simple shit and chilling, taking care of me and mine. And we got to wake up. I'm in my 30s now. I don't know if y'all know that, like how old I am, but yeah, <laughs> I'm in my 30s. I ain't, I'm 30 as fuck right now. You feel me? Like that's what type of 30, I'm 30 as fuck. So I got to start thinking on a whole different level, you know? I got to secure something for my daughter, bro. I got to have something because I don't want her to be out here asking nobody for nothing. I want to be as powerful as possible mentally and physically, you know? I want to be here. I want to be something. And we all need to, like, have that same type of attitude when it comes down to taking back what's ours, man. I'm tired of people treating us like we're less than human still. You know, they used to say that shit. Well, we're one-thirds of a fucking human, but we run faster, outthink you, everything better than everybody else. This shit's crazy. We can walk in the sunlight without really worrying about skin cancer and shit like that. Stop telling us stupid shit. That's all I'm going to say. Stop saying stupid shit to us, and we're getting along just fine. You say I look 20? Damn, that's crazy. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I'm 30 as fuck. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, and you know what's crazy, though? That should be normal that y'all saying, oh, I look 20. You should be able to look at somebody like at your elder and be like, yo, I want to I want to look like that when I get to that age or better. We should always be trying to progress. Three fifths of the human. Yeah, I see it. Yep. Three fourths. Whatever sounds good. <laughs> Still didn't say we was a human all the way a human. That shit's crazy. But we got the most hue out of everybody. You feel me? Yeah. Hey, see, so you got you hopped on Yaki. Yes, man. Y'all got any ailments, y'all know anybody that's sick and needs help, man. Y'all look at, hey, go follow my brother Yaki Awaken, bro. Like, they're trying to shut this man down. They don't want him on social media. They don't want him talking about how he's doing his thing. But he got a, he got a Netflix special, so I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him for sure. Hey, hey, Zay, make sure, hey, bro, I'm trying to get in contact with you, bro. You don't even have an Instagram no more. I'm going to, uh, like, hit me, bro. I got I got some questions for you. They have to keep the illusion going or everything else. The whole system will break down if we know who I started to love us. Yeah. It can, it can collapse overnight, man. We just need more people to understand, bro. <laughs> I don't mean to say bro to you. I'm sorry, but yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate it for sure. Yeah, I seen you was off of Instagram. I'm like, damn, where the nigga go, bro? <laughs> yeah, you 40. Oh, hey, everybody think you in your 20s. Yeah, for sure. That should be the norm, though. That should be the norm. That should be the norm. As suicidal th thoughts due to nobody thinking like. Nah, well, I I'm going to try to understand what you was trying to say, but. Look, man. That's a permanent solution for a temporary problem. We in this shit together. You know? We definitely in this thing together. Never feel like, never had those thoughts. Because you powerful. You know who you are. I'm telling you. Everybody, like, you deep down inside, you know. You know something's not right. You know you need to be doing something else. Hey, what's up? Sending love. Hey, I appreciate you. From Murfreesboro. I've never heard of that shit before. Where is that at? <laughs> Where the hell is that at? Let me know. Sounds interesting. I was like, it's about two people that live there. This dude, Ego, is out of control. Who's Ego? I mean, if you think my ego is out of control, I mean, okay. Because I believe in myself. 
It's crazy. What, because I want to motivate my people? Because I want to I want to breathe life into them because I want them to be out here thriving? Okay, bet. Get your ass up off of here. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm racist, but I like you. <laughs> what the kind of shit is that? Yeah, this lady, look, man, it is what it is, man. I like <laughs> DMV in here. What's up? Hey, what's up? What up? I appreciate it. I appreciate it, y'all. I'm going to get up off of here, though. Hey, Zay, hit me up, though. Uh, I'll be on the lookout, though, bro, for sure. Because, I mean, since you disabling all your fucking social media and shit, bro, we got to talk about that. What's going on, my G? But, yo, yo, I'm going to get up off of here, man. I appreciate y'all being on here, chopping it up with me, even after the video. Y'all didn't leave. That means a lot, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button if y'all haven't already, if y'all fucking with me, man. We got to keep these videos going. Much love from Atlanta, Dre. I appreciate it, Chad. I appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and get up off of here, man. All right, I love y'all. I'm out.